monster. I went to school with Mike Phillips all the way from Brown School to Brown School. When we went out for football, I thought he was going to get killed. But he grew. He persisted by seeing the year amazingly with an amazing starting lineman. During a game against Winchester my junior year, the big thing, and the last, well, the, the last thing I remember was sacking the quarterback from left defensive end. The last thing Paul Franchi remembers was exactly the same from the right end. Heads collided, both of us knocked out cold. <laughs> quarterback, unscathed, but sacked, and we both walked out on the sidelines to Dr. Ms. Rancho's administration about smelling sauce. <laughs> Best football memory of all of our country. Senior year against Winchester, first game ever at fullback. One minute to play, blocked the punt, and scored a second touchdown um, on, the, uh, on the next play to end the game, uh, to tie the game. Winchester's double score, of course, was Joe Blue and Ice and Trophy winner uh, later. In track and field, another Hall of Fame coach, Bob Gleason, who led us to five state championships in those three indoor and three outdoor seasons. And we practiced in a school corridor, making our turns around barrels, position that we were in. The runner I most admired and enjoyed watching was Marty Clines. He had both sprint of speed and distance endurance. I'll never forget his winning the state meet half mile in a record time, one minute and seven seconds. Faster than some of us could run half that distance. Small wonder no two games included him. My sophomore year, my first indoor state track meet, nervous as can be the morning tonight. Was it serious or good psychology? But Coach Gleason takes me aside and whispers, now I want you to beat Bob Dundolfo if you can. Don't think you have to let him win just because he's a senior. I almost said you gotta be kidding. Bob Dundolfo was a star. As it turned out, Bob won first place goal. And I was pleased to pull an upset by taking third place throwings and that beat him to get out the competition. In those years, we had remarkable experiences. From Bucky Karnikian and Bob Rodolfo to Coco Gordian, to Chachudian, to Jackie Robinson. <clears throat> Although not quite as speedy, I was proud Coach Gleason always included me in the relays, which I enjoyed immensely. They provided a lot of brand in more ways than one. One time, Marty Klein's, um, I'm sorry, Marty Klein's, Coco Gordian, George Chachudian, and I were called away from our state championship football game by Coach Gleason, who needed us for the relay and we couldn't track me. We were driven to the meet, won, won the meet by one point, and returned to the bank with a time to hear Coach Gino introduce on the guest, my callback, Boston College at the Coach at the time. I always appreciated Coach Gleason uh, and his individual help in the javelin and hurlers. My senior year, lacking a hurdle, Coach Gleason said, you may not quite be a great sprinter, but you could be an excellent hurdler. Again, I wanted to say, you got to be kidding. Well, he turned out to be right. I went on to win all the dual meets and took second in the indoor and outdoor state meets. Biggest embarrassment of all in track was occasionally knocking a hurdle down with my new foot. Luckily, it didn't happen much. Competing in the New England outdoors, I made it through the trial heats and placed seventh in the final, one place out of the medals. The hurdles were very thin uh, in that meet, and I broke six of them. The poor coach had to take a lot of flack for that. My happiest moment for a teammate, Tony Scalzi, great guy and friend swore up and down that he would beat me someday in the javelin. In our last competition, the state team completely beat me, winning the gold and I the silver. Tony graduated, and thankfully the next year I won with a record class running for the piece of country. If you ever see yourself in a younger person, Hall of Famer Nick Benito was a sophomore when I was a senior. He was big and fast. Kind of like him, but even more so. To this day, I have to smile at the sight of him gobbling up runners just like Pac Man as he bore down and passed down the track. 
Well, in closing, I have to say I'm thankful and obligated to all my former teammates with those whom recognition like this would not be possible because it's only possible as a result of standing on their shoulders and shoulders on and being supported by all the team members, all of them made their best efforts. And thank you for your attention.